Oh, all right. Thank you everybody for tuning in. We are going to be doing a little comparison video of the Gary Yamamoto Senkos and the Guggen Bates Lunker Logs. Obviously these are both stick baits. These are, the Guggen Squad made these to replicate these. We're gonna see which ones are better in a couple different categories. Um, first one's gonna be cost, followed by appearance. We're gonna dissect them, open them up, see what they look like on the inside. And then of course we're gonna put them, I have a tub of water sitting right here. We're gonna put them on a hook and see which one has a better underwater action. And at the end of the video, we'll decide which ones are better. All right, so both of the prices for these are gonna come off of the Tackle Warehouse website. For the Sankos, they are $7.50 a bag. You get 10 of them which makes each stick bait 75 cents a piece. So for the Guggen baits, you get eight in a pack and it's $6, which also equals out to 75 cents a piece. For the first one, surprisingly, surprisingly enough, these are both, they both cost the same. You're gonna pay more for the Senkos, but you're gonna get more. You pay less for the Lunker Logs, but you get less. So, but at the end of the day, your cost is the same per stick bait. All right, so let's open each of these up. There's the first look at the Guggen Lunker Log, and there is the Gary Yamamoto Senko. There they are, right next to each other. When I mean identical, that is exactly what I mean guys these things look so much alike just remember this is the Sanko this is the Lunker log I don't think you could tell these apart by just looking at them which I certainly can't and I pretty much have them in my hands and I cannot tell the difference I do know that the Lunker log has uh, a liquor scent or a black liquor scent uh, it's called Ennis scent here smell yeah it smells good I mean that is their it's on all their soft plastics and uh, as you probably know the Senkos do not come with any kind of scent yeah the Guggen Squad is definitely more firm than the Senko why I don't know probably different plastics so that's gonna roll us into our next test we're gonna cut these two apart and we're gonna see just how exactly they look on the inside. All right, let's start by cutting open the Senko. As I am sure you guys can tell, that thing is loaded with salt on the inside. You can see salt on my fingers there. It's just, it's impregnated with salt on the inside of that thing. I have the Lunker log here dissected and I'm sure you can tell it definitely doesn't have as much salt but there's still a ton of salt in there but it doesn't seem to have as much as what the Senko has on the inside. Yeah I would definitely say that the Senko has way more salt in it than what the Lunker log does. Let's go and look at some underwater footage now of the Sanko separately. All right, well, it definitely looked like the Senko had a little bit more of a wobble to it than what the Guggen baits did. Why, I don't know. The only thing that I could really tell that was different with them was the fact that the Senkos had more salt. In closing, I want you guys to comment down below which ones you think did better and why. Thank you so much for watching. If you're new to the channel, click subscribe. If you enjoyed this, if you guys enjoy this kind of video, please let me know by leaving a like. Until then, I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.